So I'm trying to export the Tetra cert and Tetra key in PFX uh, format so that I can import the uh, same certificate in PFX format in Windows Server 2012 and 2016. Let me try to export uh, the certificate and corresponding key first in PFX format. As you can see on my screen, I'm using OpenSSL and I'm trying to export the uh, certificate using the command as you can see on my screen. You will have to enter the password. I'm going to enter the password as password. So now we have the Tetra PFX exported. So this is the file. Now my intention is to copy this file and import this particular uh, certificate into the trusted root store in the Windows Server 2012 and 2016. So for testing purpose, I have Windows Server 2016 standard edition and this is applicable to all Windows Server 2012 edition and 2016 edition. So now we are into the cert manager and my intention is to import the certificate inside the web hosting category. So let me try to copy this particular uh, certificate in PFX format which basically contains the corresponding key and the cert information in X.509 standard. So this is the uh, cert that I'm trying to import. Click on task, import, current machine, click next, browse, and in desktop, you will have to select this option, and then you have to select the one that we have copied, Tetra, open this, click next, and you have to enter the same password. And you will see this particular concern when you're trying to import the PFX uh, certificate, which is the password you enter is incorrect. So many of us will try to regenerate the uh, certificate and export it again to into x.pfx format, but then that is not going to fix the issue. The issue here is with the uh, formatting of the data when you try to export in the PFX format. So to fix the issue, you will have to use this particular command on my screen, you can see. So I'm going to use this command, which is going to properly format the data and export the same in PFX format. And you can see here, I'll share the command in the, in the description below as well. So I'm going to run this command again. So this is the command, which is basically uh, adding certain parameters like PBE SHA1 3 days and key PBE SHA1 3 days no Mac and then adding the key and the cert and then exporting the file as tetra1 pfx I'm going to keep the password as password Now the export is finished. Let's try to copy the new lead generated certificate in PFX format. Let's try to see if this particular uh, file is fixing the issue. So I'm on window machine 2016 server. Let me try to import this particular PFX file. So I'm going to select the newly uh, exported PFX. So I'm going to use the password that I have used. And I'm going to place it in web hosting. And you can see here this particular 
export the second uh, method that I have used have fixed the issue so that is how you can fix the issue when you try to export or import the pfx format uh, certificate into the windows server 2012 and windows server 2016 so that's how you fix the issue that's all in this video if you have any question do leave them in the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button